Hello, I'm Jade Lee and you're listening to City Radio. Today we're celebrating Scottish artist Martin Livingston. Martin is best known for his role as frontman and lead singer for the band Burn Out. But this smoke, drink and party four-piece eventually burnt out. And I make no apologies for the pun. In 2009, Martin fully embraced his solo career. And to date, Martin has recorded nine EPs, written over 500 songs, and is gigging around 70 times a year. A highlight for Martin was playing to over three and a half thousand people. But Martin didn't always believe he could sing. In fact, until 2000, Martin had never really heard himself sing before. But that all changed the day he sang the words, Mother, I need no other, just some space to recover. When Martin was 14, Oasis burst onto the scene and completely revolutionised music. Martin said it was high energy rock and roll with an attitude we could all relate to. Some of Martin's earliest influences growing up were the Beach Boys, John Lennon and The Who, to name only a few. But come mid-90s, hardcore electronic was the scene. It was the ecstasy backdrop that created a perceptual shift from the football hooligan days. Martin was mid-teens, but that didn't mean he was immune to the ultrasonic era. In fact, he was knee-deep. Oasis, however, was the dawn of a new time in music, and it didn't take long for other artists to emerge that would be hugely influential to Martin. We are talking legends like the XX, the Stone Roses, Paul Weller, Supergrass and the Seahorses. But it would be an album, a northern soul, that would turn out to have the biggest impact on Martin. Martin said, I came across a band that completely blew my mind, The Verve. I could relate so much to the issues I was hearing in my own life. I went through a very difficult and dark time in my late teens and I always say that album saved me and got me through it. I recently caught up with Martin at the Weeda Foxmas Studios in Armadale. The owner Fraser invited us into his wee bonnie palace where all the magic happens. Humble beginnings with quality at the core of it all. And this is exactly where Martin recorded his upcoming EP, Shooting Star, that was released on November 5th. Why has music been so important in your life? Uh, music's been a constant thing in my life, even for being young. I can remember there was uh, loads of great music in the house. I've always been quite deep and a thinker, and I don't know, I just really connect with music. It does, it really adds something important to my life. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to explain. It's melodies and chord changes and happy, sad, you know, I just connect with it all. So when your fans come to your gigs, you know, what experience do you want them to have? Just basically to be happy and enjoy it and sing along and feel uplifted, you know, feel good, you know, enjoy it. Is that how you feel when you're playing your music? Yeah, yeah, most of the time. You can be playing in front of five people or you can be playing in front of a thousand people. You know, if you've got smiling faces looking back at you and connecting with you as you're singing, you know, it's amazing. It's mm-hmm. one of life's great moments, you know, so. So you feel uplifted from your gigs and you want your fans to feel uplifted too? Yep, that's the thing. Uplifted and connected, you know, because music brings you to the moment. It's one of the few things that just takes you there. And um, a great gig is when everybody's in that zone and they're all just, you know, so that's a a beautiful thing in music. If you could tell your younger self one thing, what do you think you would say? Everything's going to be alright. And how has that served you? Oh, my, young, my younger self didn't think that, and that's what half the problem is. Mm. That's why I would, I would go to say everything's going to be alright. And don't worry, don't worry, I've spent half my life worrying about things that never happen, you know what I mean? Try not to worry, try to relax, try to enjoy life, go with the flow of life, that's what I would say. My younger self probably wouldn't be listening to that. Don't <laughs> so, worry, so smoke drinking party! So what are you talking about? <laughs> but that's what... That's what advice would be up to my younger self. Mm-hmm. I try not to look back anyway, but yeah. For everything a reason, mm-hmm. you know. All the ups and downs and the chaos, you know, it's it all leads you to where you're supposed to be going. Mm-hmm. You sound like a philosopher. You have an upcoming EP on the release, yeah. Shooting Star. Yeah. How are you feeling about it, you know? What does this mean to you? Oh, I'm mega excited about it. It's, um, the songs are so uplifting, you know. And I don't always get that, you know. Sometimes you write songs, you go through a phase, and it's just 
because you're not uplifted yourself, so you can't. Uh, but anyway, these songs are really uplifting and positive, and I recorded them at Where Are Fox My Studios, which was a great experience. Really fast process, enjoyable, and uh, these songs, I'm proud of them. And they're strong, you know, I do a lot, I do a lot of cover, you know, gigs in pubs, and then the Richard Ashcroft tribute. So I'm playing all these classic songs all the time. So I've learned, and I, I know what a class, what a strong song needs to have now, you know. I know what a strong melody is, I know what a strong chorus is, I know what it needs to lift, it needs to drop, so all these years of writing, you know, the more you do something, the better you get, I think. So this is, I'm very proud of these songs, I'm very excited and I hope people enjoy them and get uplifted and add something good to their, their day, even if it's just five minutes listening to one song. You know. And when is the release for this? Uh, the 5th of November. Remember, remember. The 5th of November. Jesus, sorry. Uh, 5th of November, yeah. How important has a creative outlet been for your mental well-being? Well, it's been vital, to be honest. It's a stabiliser, because uh, I suffer from anxiety, an anxiety disorder called OCD, which is very misunderstood and it's pretty devastating. And music is a stabiliser for all that, you know. It doesn't get rid of it, it doesn't, you know, but it makes things better, it makes... Music, you can express yourself, you know, cause sometimes it's hard to talk about things that are so crazy, you know. And music, there's something about it, it just gets it out there, you know. So if I write a couple of songs, it feels like I've let let's stuff out, you know what I mean? And music is a stabiliser for me, that's mm. the way I would describe it. And that's why, I'm, that's why I date all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm addicted to it, because I need it, you know what I mean? I need it. So it's been a, a busy year for you. Yeah, it's been an amazing year, very lucky. 70 gigs this year? Ah, it must be over 70, yeah. Wow. The Edinburgh Festival helps with that one. But <laughs> that's amazing. So uh, what do you have in store for us next year? <laughs> Martin Livingston. It's coming ham at us. What's happening? Well, next year, just more of the same. And I want to try and focus a wee bit more on my original stuff because I'm just going through a good time with that at the moment. I want to possibly get a band around these new tracks because they're, they're uplifting, they're rocking, you know what I mean? So that's at the back of my mind. And usually when I get an idea, <laughs> happens eventually. But uh, just more of the same, just gig as much as I can, keep writing songs, keep recording, keep doing the Richard Ashcroft tribute, keep playing the pubs, full steam ahead, you know. Uh, my Richard Ashcroft tribute is called A Northern Soul and you'll find it on Facebook and uh, all the details of my upcoming gigs for that should be there. Well thank you so much for your time today Martin. No problem, my pleasure, thank you. you. You've been a legend.